Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I'm going to show you some of the work I did this weekend here on the old 7.3 IDI uh, F350 diesel. Uh, I was able to find a, uh, a really nice set of wheels and a really nice set of tires this weekend. And I was able to put together a package that I've been wanting to put on the truck for a while. And I had to do a lot of running around to make it happen. Uh, I probably covered a good, uh, I don't know, 300, 400 miles getting uh, getting everything together. Um, but I got a smoking hot deal, and uh, I think I think it was well worth doing. Uh, the new tire set uh, is way better than than what I had on there previously, and the truck seems to like the larger uh, larger tire diameter. Um, my old 35s are pretty worn out and were more like a 33 than a 35. And the new tires measure out a solid 34 and a half inch. So um, the new tires are, are more more true 35s than what I had on there before. And they just roll better. They, they ride better. They're quieter on the road. Uh, a lot of the thumping and vibrations that I had from the old tire set are gone. So... Uh, I think it was a great improvement, um, and I think I'll have a few less RPMs on the highway, so maybe that'll uh, make the old girl last a little longer. So Friday I was sitting around here um, while I was working, and uh, found a set on Craigslist of, uh, of weld wheels, weld 20s, that um, were a really nice looking wheel. Weld wheels are forged, so they're very strong and weld racing wheels are made here in the USA which I love so it was uh, it was kind of a natural for me uh, the, the the price was right and uh, I liked the look of the wheels the only thing I didn't like about the wheels were the, was the color of them so uh, I spent all day yesterday uh, repainting the wheels and um, masking them off uh, just knocking down the top coat with the little scotch bright pads and uh, and then giving her a few coats of the new color that, that I think goes pretty well with the truck. I'll show you guys here what I'm talking about. But I used a, a bronze metallic uh, paint. And I think it kind of matches the color scheme that I'm doing with the truck. Uh, with, with the brown interior and the um, you know brown accents on the, on the white uh, of, the, of the truck. I think it, it looks great. So I think at some point here I'll pull the wheels off and get them powder coated and done properly. But for now I just threw some rattle can on there and uh, it looks good. It came out pretty good. I threw uh, three coats of base and two coats of clear and I think uh, I think it worked out just fine. I spent a lot of time prepping them though. I, I made sure I got every nook and cranny sanded down. I, I sanded out a few scratches that were in there in the finish of the uh, of the wheels. And I also painted the hubs and the brake drums in the back, uh, and the front hubs in the front, because um, you can't have a nice set of shoes, right? If if you got cankles. For the tires, I'm running a 325-60-20, 20, uh, which is essentially a 35. It measures 34 and a half inches tall. Uh, they're pretty wide. 325 is a pretty wide tire. Um, gives you a nice contact patch and um, feels really solid and smooth on the road. I love the love the offset. Love the way they look. Uh, the tires are Goodyear Duratrax, and uh, they, they run smooth and quiet, and um, I'm really, really happy to have this set on, on here. And I think putting the weld wheels with the Goodyear tires on an old Ford OBS is all good, all good things. For prep on the wheels, um, all I did was mask them off with some regular masking tape. Uh, mask right along the existing uh, line that was on the wheel from the previous paint job that was already on them and then scuffed everything up with some scotch bright uh, prep time was about 30 minutes per wheel um, to mask it off and sand everything down and get into all the nooks and crannies and inside the lug holes and uh, all the corners you want to spend a lot of time getting all those corners sanded down so that your new finish sticks well um, I used just Rust-Oleum products to refinish the wheels uh, some metallic bronze uh, which I really liked it, it looks really good and uh, clear just some rust-oleum clear I really like this stuff uh, sprays out really nice and let them dry for about a half hour 45 minutes as I took all my masking tape off while it was wet um, and then remounted them back up 
when you wipe everything down after sanding to prepare it for uh, your finish job, uh, make sure you use a lint-free cloth. I use just a cotton t-shirt, cut some pieces out of a cotton t-shirt, some acetone, wipe down the wheel, uh, let that evaporate, and then, and then went ahead and sprayed the base color on top. And I'd recommend using just disposable uh, paper rolls like your regular masking paper that you can get at your Home Depot or hardware store uh, for masking off the tire because you don't want to get any overspray on the rubber itself. So mask that off with some paper and throw it away um, after each wheel. This is my dad's 2005 6.0. He uh, uses this truck to hot shot freight every day uh, with a 40 foot gooseneck trailer behind it. The truck has a little over 300,000 miles on it and uh, this is the second 05 6.0 in the family and uh, they just keep running hard. Uh, they're used hard, they take a lot of maintenance, but they, uh, they do the job very well. <laughs> Boy, she sounds good. Hey guys, so while installing the new wheels and tires this weekend, I ran into a problem with lug nuts. Um, the old lug nuts that I had on my old set of wheels uh, bolted on fine. I didn't have any problems bottoming out the lug nut or uh, running out of thread. With the new wheels, I guess the mounting flange is thinner on the uh, weld wheels, the new ones that are on the truck, and uh, it made my lug nuts thread on just a few threads more, and I ran out of length on my lug nuts. I was under the impression that I was running two inch tall regular one ton lug nuts on my truck all the way around, and I found out that that's only partially true. I, I had some lug nuts that were shorter than two inch. Some were inch and three quarter which is why I ran into a problem. The other contributing factor to my uh, lug nut dilemma was that uh, on the driver's side rear of my truck the studs are actually two inches long for some reason and the studs on the other three corners are a little over inch and three quarter. They're more like inch and seven eighths long. So somewhere along the line here somebody has swapped out either the hub on the driver's side rear for a maybe it's a dually hub or something or swapped out the studs uh, those eight studs so since I don't want to replace all eight of those studs I ordered some new two inch tall uh, lug nuts and what I'm gonna have to do is trim down those long studs on the driver's side rear drum or hub uh, to give me clearance for the new lug nuts so the lugs I ordered are off Amazon. They're a solid steel fully threaded two inch tall lug nut with a uh, special tool here to install them so they're anti-theft uh, and they're keyed it looks like to only go into this tool here one particular way. So it provides a couple benefits you know anti-theft benefit. It gives you a nice installer tool that's heavy wall thickness for impact use and uh, I, I really like that because that way I don't have to run um, a thick socket down into the bore of the wheel and scratch up the bore of the wheel. This is much thinner, smaller diameter and it should clear nicely um, against these splined lug nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, rattle off uh, 32 lug nuts and <laughs> rattle on 32 new ones and I'll let you know my review after I thread on all these babies. Yeah, I don't see any signs of the lug nuts bottoming out on the studs. I don't see any marks on the head, on the inside of the head of the new lug nuts. But the only way I'm going to feel good about myself is if I trim those studs down now that I know they're too long. So I'm just going to take off about an eighth of an inch off every one of them, and then I know I have plenty of clearance all the way around. You can see here that I just took off enough that 
the stud was the same height as one of the lug nuts. That should give me plenty of plenty of clearance inside the lug nut with the wheel thickness uh, in addition to the thickness of the base of the lug. Should be just fine. And here's the finished product. Uh, I think my truck's come a long ways here in a few months. I really like the 20s and 35s. I think uh, it's a great look. It may not translate well in the video, but in person with the sun shining on that metallic uh, bronze finish, it really gives a nice look and uh, finish to the truck. Well guys, got all the new lugs installed and torqued down. I really like the, the tool that comes with those splined lug nuts. Uh, clears the bore of the wheel, the lug bore on the wheel really nicely so you don't rub the inside of those bores and scrape the paint off. Um, that worked out really well. You saw how I go around and tighten up my lug nuts. I always do them by hand. Uh, I don't use a torque wrench although I probably should adopt that using a using a torque wrench that's the right way to do it. Um, I always just use a breaker bar and do it by hand and uh, you'll see that I tighten a lot of things by hand. That kind of comes from my four wheeling background. Uh, what we learned while wheeling is that if you tighten everything with an impact wrench or you tighten everything over torque it to you know tighter than maybe it needs to be then when you break it out on the trail and you have to disassemble that and all you have is hand tools you're kind of stuck so if you don't have a, an impact wrench and onboard air it makes it difficult to disassemble things so all the lugs went on great, uh, tightened up really nicely. I've got plenty of clearance now on those driver's side studs and they should match what I've got going on on the passenger side so I feel a little bit better about the symmetry of things with my truck. So I fixed, uh, fixed a couple problems and I think the truck looks way better now with the new wheels than it did before. Uh, I'm glad I took the time to prep those wheels and paint them bronze uh, as opposed to the gray. The gray looked good if my truck had been all white or maybe it was blue or something, the gray would have gone nicely with that. Uh, but with the white and brown exterior and the brown interior that I'm going to put in it, it just made sense to go with bronze and I think it looks great. Uh, the metallic uh, really shines really nicely in the sunlight and the color really complements what I've got going on for a, for a theme with my truck. And you'll see there at the beginning of the video, my dad stopped by with the 6.0. It's a 05. I think he's got a little over 300,000 miles on that one so far. He used to drive my brother's uh, 05 dually that he bought brand new um, back in 05. And that truck has over a half a million miles on it now. Uh, the white truck has a little less mileage, but it's starting to creep up there, there at 300,000. Uh, but it hauls great. It uh, tows good. Um, it's got loads of power with the upgraded turbo on it and a uh, programmer. So my dad's really happy with that truck. And it's a good looking truck as you can see. My dad takes really good care of the exterior of that truck and keeps it keeps it shined up and waxed and uh, nicely polished and it looks looks just as good as it runs. So there are some 6.0s out there that get driven hard every day and, and still manage to keep running. I so that's going to wrap it up for me today, guys, on the wheel install, the 20s and 35s on my old 7.3 IDI here. I think it looks great. Uh, my dad paid me a really nice compliment that he thought the truck was really coming together and really looking good. and uh, That made me feel nice because he's always always had uh, had really nice vehicles and always well-maintained his cars as well. And uh, anytime he uh, can appreciate the work that I'm doing, it uh, makes me feel like I'm doing it right. And he dropped me off uh, a calendar here, American Muscle Cars calendar, that his car, his Boss 351 Mustang, is on the front cover here of the calendar, as well as the coffee table book by the same publisher. Uh, I think it's really nice uh, to see that, you know, uh, his car gets a lot of magazine and, and video coverage, but uh, it's always nice to see it on something like this. And now I'm going to hang this calendar up and probably keep it on the month that his car is in there. Uh, there are a lot of nice nice cars in here. It starts off in January with a pretty cool convertible Roadrunner uh, and goes through a lot of different Mopars, Fords, and I think even a couple Chevys in there. There's a separate video of my dad's car here on my channel if you want to check that out and, and get a little closer look uh, and some behind the scenes uh, information about that car. It's all, it's all in that separate video. 
But for today's video, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please click subscribe. I could use all the help I can get with building this channel up. If you think I earned it or you just like 20s and 35s, give me a like.